Good morning guys, so we're on our way to breakfast and today is our last full day in Panama. We're leaving tomorrow. So yeah, I'm pretty sad to leave like all the families here. Like I love like going to hang out with them and stuff. So yeah, I'm not really looking forward to going back to the cold weather. So now we're on our way parasailing, so it's our first time doing this, so we'll see how it goes. So for the first while when we were up there, we weren't really scared. Like we just thought it was really cool and stuff. But we were supposed to be up there for like 15 minutes and they left us up there way longer. And we think it was because it was so windy, they had a hard time like getting us down or something. But then we started to look at everything that was like holding us up and there was like tape and zip ties. So we got kind of freaked out up there, but yeah. Overall, it was a really fun experience. Just a little scary towards the end and we were really happy when um, they pulled us down from there. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's like really cool to do and it's a really nice view. And actually the other couple that went right after us, the guy wasn't nervous at all to go and then the girl was. Like she was like really scared and then when they ended up going, the guy ended up throwing up like up there all over himself. with some coconut oil and some cane sugar from the buffet because we never brought any. Hola! Nos vamos mañana. So, uh, yeah. Si. Espérate, espérate. Come te llamo? Emily? Naibeli. 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 Naibe
So we just got back from visiting the kids for probably the last time. So we just recently got back from the town and sorry about the lighting it's getting kind of dark here we visited the kids again and you'll be seeing little clips of it but yeah it was awesome I'm gonna miss those little kids so much they're so nice and so sweet and even the parents and everybody like they're just the nicest people ever it's just the best feeling in the world when they all come running at you here just getting fresh clean water can be a struggle for some families and the places that they live they shower literally outside. Some people are still in need of water so much that like you'll see in my one video clip how desperately they take that water and like to think that people are just wasting it like they do where we live it's crazy and just seeing that makes you realize how lucky you really are where you live. Oh and another thing I wanted to talk about is eating vegan here. Oh there's a little vehicle. Um, eating vegan here was really easy. There was always options. Pasta, potatoes, um, rice as you can see and there's tons of fruits and the fruits here are so good. I am in love with the pineapple here. I could eat that like all day long. So I'm staying at um, the Royal de Cameron um, Hotel in Rio Ato in Panama. So where we're staying is in a little villa and across the road is like the actual resort where everything goes on and then the beach is across the road. and. Um, yeah, but if you walk down the road just that way, um, you go into a little town and well, it's like a very, very tiny town. It's like only like a few stores and stuff, but there's some families in there. That's where we go visit. I encourage anybody that's going on vacation to um, go out to the local areas as long as it's safe and you know help out how they can like even if you just go visit with them and you know bring them fresh water or like a few little snacks um i find it is really safe here There's security guards like at the end of the villas um to always check who's coming in and out there's security guards by the entrance of the resort it's just like you are going off the resort to go to your villa but it's like not unsafe at all and it's not that far like you can easily walk there oh, i think i'm getting mosquito bites out here getting bitten. I better get inside. I think I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes or something. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye. Something kind of funny, our door handle cut our ripped off on like the second day. So we have to like do everything with the door open, which is kind of annoying, but kind of funny at the same time. Getting to our last dinner here. We're getting sushi, so hopefully they have something vegan. My pineapple juice. This is the little sample thing that they sent us, but they accidentally like gave us some with shrimp and salmon too. But yeah, we're only eating these obviously. Yeah, that vegan sushi is like really good though. And this is the next thing they brought us, just some rice. So this is the next thing we got. It's just like a bunch of mixed veggies basically. Good morning, so today we're leaving. Um, we're just bringing our suitcases to the lobby and then we're gonna eat, have breakfast. Today for breakfast, a bunch of pineapple, some potato chips, toast, and donuts. Okay, so now we're just waiting in the airport and there's this really weird bug. I have no idea what it is, but it looks really creepy. And for a snack, I had this granola bar. It's peanut butter dark chocolate.
So it's pretty cool the plane was really empty so me and my friend each got our own row of three seats so we could sleep on the way back. Okay, so we ended up getting behind schedule because we got randomly selected and pulled aside a few times and they checked through all our stuff. So yeah, we were starving and got Chipotle. I just got this burrito, chips, and salsa. Okay, so that is the end of my trip to Panama. I hope you guys liked the videos and I know I'm going to love looking back on them, having all the memories. So yeah, um, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.